Well, the Roanoke Valley has some of the uh, highest rates of prescription drug and heroin overdoses in the Commonwealth. This is according to the Roanoke Area Youth Substance Abuse Coalition. So now local agencies are getting federal money to focus on solutions. WSOS 10's Bree Jackson joins us. She's live in our studio tonight. So, Bree, you found out that hundreds of thousands of dollars are being poured into, into solving our area's drug problem. That's right, John, and the focus is on prescription drug and heroin abuse. Twelve community service boards across the state were awarded federal grant money, and eight of those were located right here in southwest Virginia. Today, we take a look at the factors causing the drug problems and efforts to fix them. Janie Underwood says her son Bobby became addicted to painkillers and eventually died from a heroin overdose. And I didn't realize that he had become addicted to the to the pain meds. I didn't see it coming. In recent years, Southwest Virginia has seen an alarming number of drug-related cases. We have a high rate of prescription drug and heroin abuse uh, and misuse in the Roanoke Valley. And that drew the attention of federal and state leaders who will help fund the Valley's efforts to address the problem. Over the next five years, the Roanoke Valley will be receiving $600,000 to help work on this issue and mobilize our communities about the dangers. Traffic along 81 and easy access are factors contributing to the high number of cases we're seeing in Southwest Virginia. And I think that's why we're seeing prescription drug abuse turn into heroin abuse because it's not as expensive and it's very, very accessible. Moving forward, staff at Blue Ridge Behavioral Health Care, along with law enforcement agencies, the medical community, and other groups, plan to take proactive steps to eradicate this epidemic. We're still working on a needs assessment, trying to find out where, like why here, why now. For now, people in the community hope to better educate parents and others about the dangers that exist. I mean, I keep telling myself, if I only knew, if I only knew what was happening, you know, maybe it could have been prevented. And this Saturday is the annual drug take back event. People are encouraged to bring your old and unwanted prescription drugs for safe destruction. For a list of locations, you can go to our website, WSLS.com. In the studio, Bree Jackson, WSLS 10.